Hello everyone. In my past two videos, I showed you how to use shape hint in Anime CC. Today I'm going to show you another one using shape hint and masking in Anime CC. Something like this. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so first let's make a new Anime CC file. Uh, the size is going to be 600 pixel by 600 pixel 24 frame rate and HTML5 canvas. It really doesn't matter. You can use the either ones fine, but um, let's choose it uh, HTML5 canvas and the create it and the reason I'm using the, uh, the 600 by 600 pixel square uh, size is I'm going to upload it on my Instagram feed so um, but uh, you can choose any different size. It really doesn't matter so first the thing is uh, please download the images. Um, I provided the link that, uh, on the bottom of my screen. And then uh, please download the two images and import it to the library, uh, which is one bottle black.svg file created from the Illustrator, and then a one bottle color.png file. These two files. Open and choose the first radio button import all path into the same layer and frame now let's check the other library so we have this so first uh, let's choose the uh, SVG file and drag and drop it to here I'm gonna place it maybe on the right a little bit so we can we can relocate it later anytime and then uh, this is the end of vector graphics, but uh, I want to separate it so I can apply the different effect. So uh, go to modify menu, break apart. I'm going to use the, my shortcut, command B, and one more time, command B. Now choose the fill only, these two fills in the wine glass and then the wine bottle. And go to edit menu and cut make a new layer on top and then in this first new blank keyframe edit paste in place okay so i just separated the outline and the fill then this top one i'm going to name it as masking and the bottom one outlines and then let me uh, change the switch the order so let me move this masking layer to the bottom okay and then on this masking layer uh, I'm gonna add the text text is wine is bottled uh, poetry period okay uh, let me place it somewhere here. Uh, this is the quote uh, I found online. I liked it. Wine is bottled poetry. Okay, then, okay, something like this. And then um, location's fine. Uh, I'm fine with that. Um, and then, um, <clears throat> I'm going to break apart for this text as well because if the end user doesn't have the font I'm using, it might be um, replaced by a default font of the system. So um, command B and command B. Okay. So a masking layer, I have the fields and the text. Outline layer, I only have the, uh, the outlines, the stroke of the bottle and the wine glass. Okay. Now let's make a new layer on the bottom and this layer will be named as a liquid using the shape hint like we did for the wave so let me zoom out so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw a uh, kind of rectangle and then a no stroke color and the fill color I'm gonna choose some wine color uh, this is more like a blood okay this and then uh, draw the um, rectangle 
tall enough and much wider. Maybe something like this. Then place it on the bottom somewhere here. Okay. And then I'm going to convert this as a movie clip symbol. There are two different ways. You can go to modify menu and convert to symbol. Or in the properties panel, you can choose this button, convert to symbol. So let me use this. I'm gonna name it as liquid movie clip symbol type and OK. And now we're gonna add some animation on it. So double click this rectangle. Now you can see that I'm working on liquid movie clip symbols editing window, not in main scene here. Okay, then let me zoom in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some anchor point. Please choose this uh, plus and uh, pen tool, add anchor point tool. Let me add a few anchor points. Maybe here, here, here. Maybe like this. Now choose your selection tool. Place your selection tool on the border. Now you can see the little arc. That means I can make some change. You can push or pull like this. I'm making kind of a little uh, wave patterns like this. Okay. And the last. Okay. Okay. So make sure I'm still working on this the uh, liquid movie clip symbols editing window. And then in here, um, let me highlight the two second uh, mark. Insert a keyframe. Now select any frame in between. Hold down the control key or right click and choose uh, create shape twin. Okay, now move your playhead to the very beginning. Now we're going to add shape hint under modify shape and add shape hint. You can see the shortcut command shift H. So I have a shape hint, the very first one. Now let me add three more command shift H, which is B on top right. Command Shift H, Shape Hint C, Command Shift H, Shape Hint D. On two second mark, I'm going to place all four shape hints on the same spot, all four corners. So nothing's happening. Okay. Now place your playhead, the frame number one again and add a new shape hint, Command Shift H. I'm going to place it maybe somewhere on top here. On my two second mark, I'm going to place this uh, shape hint E on this location. So you will see this. Okay. Now go back to main scene. Okay, so now it's time to animate it. So first the thing is, um, <clears throat> highlight the two second mark of all layers. So um, first highlight the um, uh, two second mark on your liquid uh, bottom layer. And two second mark on top layer by holding down the shift key. So we select all three and insert keyframe. Now. I'm going to animate uh, this the, um, the bottom layer only. So select any frame in between on the bottom liquid layer. Hold down the control key and use choose the uh, create classic twin. Okay. Then on uh, highlight the, um, the second keyframe of your liquid layer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move it 
diagonally to somewhere like this. So it is moving like this. Okay, now highlight your second layer, which is masking layer. Hold down the control key, click on this the, um, uh, layer icon, and choose the mask. So this is happening. Okay. If I have a sound clip, I may have a sound clip. Like this. Okay. Then I'm going to next step is I'm going to uh, the blend this wine bottle and wine glass into uh, the the photo uh, the full, uh, full color images, which is this the PNG file. So select the top layer and add a new layer on top. Let me rename it as a color, and then. On two second mark, so I highlight the keyframe. I'm highlight the frame on the two second mark on top layer, add a new keyframe. Then place your bottle color.png and place it overlay on right on top of it. And let me do this way. Okay. So we're going to just the yeah, now uh, blend it. So on three second mark, select all frames on three second mark and insert the keyframe. Okay, so nothing's changing. Um, <clears throat> on the other color, uh, the top layer, select any frame in between, hold down the control and click and choose the classic twin. Okay, then on the first keyframe of this color PNG file layer, click on your image on two second mark, go to properties panel, color effect, choose the alpha from this drop down menu and set the alpha value to zero. So um, something like this. Okay, so let me rewind it and play it. Okay, let me test the movie in browser. Okay, but um, um, I want to make it stay maybe a little longer, like a two second more, something like that. So, which is currently we are on three second mark. So um, let me highlight the all five second mark, all these layers uh, by holding down the shift key and insert the keyframe. Now let me test it again, command return. Okay, two second and replace. Okay. So um, that's it. I hope that you enjoy this and that you may use this for your future, uh, future project. Thanks for watching and see you next time.